following is a presentation for painting these first fire snowberries. Using a 6 inch porcelain tile divided into four sections, um, each one will be a different colorway. We're going to use a number 10 flat shader brush, pick up a little bit of cool white, paint it on the tile, then a little bit of Sev's blue, paint that. Then we're going to pick up some green. That will be primarily used in the leaf areas. Don't worry that your colors blend a little bit. That makes your snowberries more interesting. I'm going to take a moment to clean my brush. I swish it around in brush cleaner for oil and then I press it, not pull it, in a lint-free cloth. Then I dress it with a little bit of mineral oil and blot it and press it again without pulling the bristles. I purchased these small bottles from pharmacies. They're great for traveling and transporting to classes. Now that we've experimented with four colorways on this tile, it's time to move on to forming the snowberries. Using a foam earplug, press and twist, press and twist again, press and twist, forming clumps of snowberries. Using a number 10 flat shader brush, pull the paint down, pull it down again on the other side of the berry. Notice that I'm toggling on each side of the berry and repeating this process until all of the berries are finished. Use a wipeout tool to carve out a few stems here and there on your painting. Just a few will do. This tool is also called a clay shaper. With a clean and oiled number 10 flat shader brush, carve out the center vein of a leaf, then pull from the center outward to form one side of the leaf smooth the paint. Turn the tile around. Um, I'll get it back in view here. Okay, now start at the bottom and pull from the center vein outward forming the other side of the leaf and smooth the paint again. I'm turning the tile around a little bit here. Okay, carve out another center vein. Pull the strokes towards you and then pull in from the other side to form another leaf. I'm leaving the tile straight here so that it's not so shaky and you can see what's happening. Now smooth out the paint and you have another leaf. Continue painting and intertwining leaves in and around the snowberries. Now smooth out excess paint in and around the snowberries. Use a wipeout tool to carve out some highlights on your berries. 
Highlight the berries that appear to be reflecting sunlight. The berries that will be hidden in the shadows on the painting, they don't necessarily need a highlight at this point. Use your flat shader brush around the edges of your highlights to clean up any built up paint that was caused by the wipeout tool. After completing your painting, fire at cone 015 or 014 in an electric kiln.